So this was a very long day for me and I'm actually quite tired but I managed to see most of the Spain game. I uh, haven't really seen any other highlights from the Uruguay game so um, just wanted to say congratulations to Luis Suarez of scoring a win in his 100th game. Um, but I still find the game was probably rather disappointing, um, especially with that result. Um, going to Spain, I again, I see Spain does a lot of things right, but this was a hard fought win. They made hard work out of it. Uh, first half, maybe not too much pressure putting on. Um, I think they could have played with a little bit more panache. Uh, going forward, they did this right after halftime and they got the goal, which was a lucky break. I mean, the Iranian defender is shooting on to Costa and it goes into goal, but that's what you need. And then I was very surprised how he ran. I don't want to say took the game to Spain, but they threatened big time. There were two clear cut chances. They had a goal disallowed, probably correctly so. But yeah, that was gave Spain quite some scare. Spain had two or three more chances. I mean, they looked in control of the game. I don't want to say the, the win was undeserved because that would be too strong, but I think that it was hard work for Spain and especially those lapses in defense. Other teams might take notice, better teams that might play against Spain. So I'll be very curious to see that. Um, also, uh, if that game would have ended in a draw, that would have put Spain into real trouble. Um, just then they would see the two points, Iran with a four, like Portugal. And Portugal is playing Iran, and they have a Portuguese coach, and a draw would eliminate Spain. If I get it right. Yeah, um, could go by a goal differential. But still, would have been a picky for Spain, uh, something that they surely didn't want to have. So I think it was an uh, important win for Spain. Iran now needs to beat Portugal to advance. Uh, Morocco is already eliminated and yeah, we have our two other teams eliminated with Egypt and Saudi Arabia. So I mean, Arabian teams are falling like flies. Uh, next. World Cup will be played in the Arabian sphere. I hope they will be more successful there. Uh, I think Iran is actually the only uh, Muslim majority team that's still left, if I'm not completely mistaken. Ah, Tunisia is still left. Tunisia is the other one in the Arabian sphere that's still left. So, but yeah, we also know that they don't stand too big of a chance. Well, I'm gonna go up and take a nap. Um, when I post this video, you probably I probably have slept. I won't be able to post it uh, now that I'm recording it. Uh, and yeah, I think tomorrow in the morning I'll have a few more videos posted. So sorry for the delay. But yeah, sometimes sleep needs to take priority. Let me know what you thought about the games today, about Spain in general. Do you agree with my assessment that I think they look good uh, playing forward? But the defense is shaky. Ah, and the last thing, the jersey matchup was a dark day for me in Group B. I was flabbergasted when Iran chose to play in red, because this is their away color, and we had to watch this wonderful Spain shirt again. <sighs> what shall I say? It, it looked okay on the screen. I still would have preferred it the other way around. I think for me, Iran is a white team, and Spain should play in red. That's all I'm gonna say. Well. Talk to you soon. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.